Meghan Markle and Prince Harry first met through friends in 2016 but the former Suits actress reportedly used to fantasize about her prince long before their engagement, a documentary claims. The Duchess and Duke of Sussex tied a knot in lavish ceremony at Windsor Castle in May last year and are now expecting their first child. The pair announced their engagement late in 2017 following a year and a half of dating. They were introduced by a mutual friend on a blind date during the summer of 2016 while Meghan was in London. Even though the Californian native confessed she didn't know much about Prince Harry before meeting him in an interview with BBC, People magazine deputy editor Dan Wakeford claimed there is always an element of fantasy when Americans see the royals. In 2017 documentary Prince Harry, An Engaging Life, Mr. Wakeford noted, we don't have our own royal family in America, so we project our fantasies onto this handsome princes and princesses. Mr. Wakeford's claim appears to be true as Meghan wrote about wanting to be a princess almost half a decade before she married Prince Harry, and even mentioned the Duchess of Cambridge in her royal fantasies. Writing on her blog, The Tig, in 2014, the former actress explained who her favorite childhood heroine princess was. She said, little girls dream of being a princess. I, for one, was all about Shira, princess of power. Shira is an American cartoon TV heroine from the 1980s, but it is thought a reboot of the series is currently in the works. The now Duchess of Sussex used the nugget of personal experience to introduce her interview with Princess Elia Alcinusi. She admitted she had a bit of a pinch myself I'm emailing with a princess moment before her chat with the exiled Libyan royal and humanitarian back in 2014. Continuing along the same line, Meghan went on to mention the woman who would become her future sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge. She said, grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy. Just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversations about Princess Kate. 